This is the airspeed indicator. This is the true airspeed scale on the airspeed indicator that nobody ever pays any attention to. Knowing your true airspeed in flight can be useful when comparing your planned cruise performance with your actual cruise performance. This is because the cruise performance charts in the aircraft's POH usually refer to true airspeed. We can set this scale to have a reasonable idea of our true airspeed by correcting the airspeed reading for non-standard pressure and temperature. First we must determine our pressure altitude. This is the altitude with reference to the standard datum. I have this currently set in the altimeter, which is 1013 millibars or hectopascals, shown here, or 29.92 in hug, which I'm told is inches of mercury or something American. Now we need to determine the temperature. We can do this here on the Cessna 172. No Fahrenheit, thank you. We now set the 4000 feet pressure altitude against the plus 20 degrees Celsius mark here. The true airspeed can now be read from the black and white scale at the bottom. If you're Mr. Fancy Pants flying your G1000, you can read the true airspeed straight from the PFD. But then you don't get to twiddle any knobs. And where's the fun in that? Garmin, sucking the fun out of aviation since 1994.